You know, when you were on TV, did you really mean what you said about being sorry? Babe, nothing works without you. Nothing. I'll do whatever I need to get you back and get you the home that you deserve. I'll do brand moody pencil cases if I have to. <laughs> I'm just so disappointed in you, Gav. How many times have I asked you to do a TV appearance and when you finally do, you don't even invite me? <laughs> you know, they're going to be throwing a lot of mud at you now. I think I should stick around and help out. I'm sorry, Sid. Being a former gambling addict isn't actually that bad, you know. Get some magazine spreads out of it. My gambling hell. People love a few skeletons in a cupboard anyway. But if there's any more moody, I want to know now, okay? Okay, guys, you all know the drill. We'll be going in about ten minutes, so, uh, some press for you guys. Lopez, what are you playing at? I don't know what you're talking about. Look, you said you'd sort out, Emma. I have. What, by moving her in with you? Don't worry about it. Are you having a laugh? She won't say anything. We came to an arrangement. How do you know she won't say anything? How do I know you won't? Well, why would I say anything? To the police. What? It's all about trust, Jason. I didn't see much trust going on earlier from you. So I need to be sure that you're going to keep trusting me about the other matter. <laughs> and I was having Emma live next door to me, gonna do that. Well, it might remind you if you ever thought about changing your mind about the alibi. I don't believe you'd do that. Oh, I won't. Unless I have to. Hello? Yeah. Okay. I'll be right there. Sean, I need you to come with me. Why? Please, just come with me, okay? But what's going on? Why have you brought me here? To see me. Mum. I had to do something. You won't listen to anyone else. You pick your battles, don't you? Not bothered that I see you on TV telling everyone you've wasted thousands of pounds and let everyone down. But then some fool prints some rubbish about me and you throw a fit. But Mum, I wasn't going to allow things like that to go public. Like what? I'm opening a massage parlour. Do you think I haven't had worse than that over the years? Do you think I live in a world where everyone's polite to a single mum? You have no idea. But Miguel... Miguel? You wouldn't do something like that. And what if he did? Do you think I care? But you shame me by telling your manager you won't play and you'll see me upset. That's no son of mine. That's a no-good gambling idiot with more money than sense. I'm sorry. I'll tell you one thing. Whoever's doing this blogging wants you to behave like you're doing. They might have beaten you. But not me. Mrs. Campbell, we'll need to do it now. I'll do what? And I just want to say to the person who's been saying these things about me, thanks. Thanks a lot. And yes, I am opening a massage parlour, although I prefer to call it a beauty salon. And while you get a good massage, that's all you'll get. <laughs> and to Mr Dragonslayer, you come to Michelle's and we'll sort out any problems you might have. In the meantime, you let Harchester to do what they need to do. Win the league. I say no, that will get the London in any more trouble, mate. Yeah. With any luck. Dad? What are you doing here? I came to see you and wish you luck. What have everything that's been going on? I thought you could do this in a friendly place. Let's take time. Good luck, guys. Give them hell. See you tomorrow. Mwah. <laughs> what are you doing here? Shh. Shut that door.
Vancouver. I couldn't bear it. I had to see you. This is madness. <sighs> this as soon as possible. Did it disappear? About five minutes ago. Coming soon on Dream Team. Who done it? Who done it indeed? You've got to wonder how much of a distraction this will be for the team. I'm telling you, I'm not for the good of the team. I'm not going to tell you again. It ain't me. Well, Miguel's the one who can't keep his hands to himself. You sure you want to be throwing accusations at me? Are you threatening me? Tyson, you sleeping with my daughter. <laughs> Gemma! <laughs> it's the door, silly. President Palmer not only came out of his coma last week, but he made a few changes too. 24 is brand new. Next. At 10, that other Jack returns to the Islanders, but with an unexpected guest in tow in brand new last. Then Tommy learns that the team he trusts with his life could be broken up in You Rescue Me. Best of all, it's also available in HD on channel 197.